Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, depending on where you are in your day, and welcome, and thank you very much for joining me here at the Pokebells. So this episode will be a fairly quick one, you know, um, going over some objectively fairly easy names to understand, and can't really do a, a little skit in the beginning, because one of my uh, costume props is actually currently in use by my sweet cat over there, so we'll just get involved right away. So naturally, as we chew our way through the Pokedex, we'll be moving on to some first route encounters in the Gen 1 games, those of course being Rattata and Raticate. And so again, being a part of the original 151 and a uh, early roadblock in Gen 2 games with youngster Joey and his 6 IV, perfectly EV trained Rattata, I think they're going to be fairly well recognized. But anyway, let's just get involved with this fairly simple naming line. Alright then, let's tackle Rattata, and Rattata's English name, you know, I'm not too sure about what the meaning really could be coming from. It could be coming from the onomatopoeic phrase Rattatat, but that's more the sound made by gunfire, so not, not too closely related to Rattata. It could also be a, a mixture of rat and attack, so rat attack, Rattata, could be that. No, that's a bit more appropriate, I think. Anyhow, Rattata's name in Japanese is easier to understand when you break it down, and Rattata's name in Japanese is Koratta. So breaking it down, you're taking the ko and you're adding it to Ratta. And seeing the kanji on screen now, this kanji with the reading ko is usually used to donate a child version of something or smaller version of something, uh, for lack of better words. So just illustrating through example, neko is cat in Japanese and koneko is kitten in Japanese. So that's what that core is indicating, just the child version of something. And now it won't always be the case, just adding a core into something makes it the child a smaller version. But uh, in this case, this is what's happening here. And we'll see why Rattata's name is adding the core to Arata shortly. And so shortly is right now, and moving on to Raticate. And Raticate's name is easier to break down, I think. It's just adding rat to either eradicate, to make it sound a bit more badass, or rat to masticate, which means to chew, obviously referencing its major jaw power. And so Raticate's name now in Japanese is Ratta. So now we see why Rattata's name is just adding a ko to a Ratta. It is the child version of Raticate, which is Ratta. Now, ratta is fairly simple to understand. It is just a, likely a slight corruption of ratto, and I think you can hear what that means. It is literally Japanese for rat. And Japanese does have a native word for mouse or rat, which is nezumi, but it appears that ratta is coming from that ratto. And so there we have it, nice and quick. Uh, nothing too difficult to understand. You know, just going over it again, we have ratata as koratta and radicate as ratta. And so the next episode will likely be another quick one. We'll also be covering just a, a one-stage evolution with the Spiro and Fiero line. But until then, thank you so much for joining me here. If you want to stick around and see the further episodes to come in this series, consider leaving a subscription. But until then, I hope you have the best rest of the day, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.